On this episode of Tonka Talks, we unpack the facts of Tonka Thrift, explain the bond and levy ballot issues that could affect our school, and give you exclusive coverage of Pack the House. Check it out. Good morning, Winnetonka. I'm Hayden. And I'm Riley. Welcome to Tonka Talks. Whether you need to grab a pair of shorts or needing to clean out your closet and donate some old clothes, Tonka Thrift is the place to go. Here's Ian Benoit and our own Hayden Ward with more on what Tonka Thrift is all about. Tonka Thrift um, is a place where kids can go to get free clothes, school supplies, accessories, um, things like that. The Winnetonka Thrift Store is located on the west side near Cafe A. It is a student-led store that is available during all school hours. We always could use t-shirts um, with the warmer weather, probably some um, school-appropriate shorts or capris, pants, uh, gym clothes. Um, if you want to donate, you actually can um, drop it off in the attendance office with Miss Hayes or by the Tonka Thrift Store or in Tech 3 or 4. Well, I think I might have to go donate some of my old clothes to Tonka Thrift. If you're looking for a thrilling throwdown of words, come out tomorrow night at 5 p.m. and support Tonka's young, talented poets at the Louder Than a Bomb competition. The Poetry Slam will be held at the American Jazz Museum and the entry is free. You may have heard about the Bond and Levy issue coming up the April ballot. If you have no idea what that means, that's okay. Here's Ian Sullivan and Cole Evans to explain exactly what the Bond and Levies are. Last weekend, wrestlers and girls swimmers competed in the state championships. Marco Blackman caught up with the competing athletes to get their reactions. It's amazing because we know that we put in the extra effort and we stayed after practice to put in extra sets and just like all of our hard work finally paid off. And it's been really cool coming back to school because a lot of the teachers are congratulating us and telling us how proud they are of us. Yeah, and that's something that usually doesn't happen with swim. We don't get a lot of recognition, and it's a really hard sport, and so it's nice having some people um, realize the effort we put into it. It was into. just yeah. cool, like, knowing everybody knew what we did, and, like, we just, yeah. they were, like, And that we us. made school history, too. Congratulations on making it to state. If you didn't go to Pack the House last week, don't worry, Tonka Talks has your back. We have the full story. Here's another chance to check out all the action. Hi, it's Eastside Signs. I'm here at Pack the House 2014. We're about to enjoy a good night of basketball. Let's get jiggy with it. I'm here with the one and only Chris Harbison. Chris, how you feel, bro? Uh, I don't know. We had a game until a couple hours ago, so I'm just go out there and wing it with my teammates. Okay, there you have it, Chris Harbison. I'm here with uh, Tyler Roy. Tyler, one and only. How do you feel about tonight's game? Uh, I feel very proud. Uh, it's my last home game, senior, senior night. I want to go out with a bang. What's it feel like to be a fan in the student section? Feels amazing. Knowing that you got all these people here <laughs> to support Winnetonka in our amazing school. We are Griffins. I'm here with homecoming king, Lynn Nevertell. Lynn, um, how does it feel to be in the student section and be cheering on your Winnetonka Griffins? Feels great, man. I hope we're going to win tonight. They got to represent this school well. Go Griffin! Woo! Why are you guys not in the student section? Because we don't really know anybody, I guess. I don't know. She's kind of a... But, but we're all Griffins. Let's get in the student section, Madeline. There we go. With Casey Bryan, a Winnetonka alumni. Casey, how's it feel to come back to the Tonka Gym and be here supporting your oh, team? So many memories. I love seeing all my old friends. AJ, hey, we love you! Woo! Uh, you know... Aaron, shut up. Shout out to Adele Jock. She's taking action, asking for people to donate clothes to, for South Sudan. She'll start collecting them on March 10th 
If you have any old clothes, it would be a big help. Also, students interested in joining Tonka Talks, come to C5 Intervention on March 7th for an informational meeting. I'm Hayden. And I'm Riley. This has been your March 3rd Tonka Talks. Have a nice day, Griffin. Check, check.